Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic in any object oriented programming language like Java. So the today's topic is shallow copy versus deep copy. So let's see what is shallow copy and deep copy in detail. So what is shallow copy? Now suppose we have a user object A and there is some property of this user object like name and roll number and address. You can see the name and roll number is a primitive data type and address is pointing to a new object into the heap and this address is again going to point this address or refer this address. So here you can see this user object A property address is pointing to this object in the heap and this is the address. Now suppose if you are trying to copy or make a copy of this user A, what is your intention? Your intention is to create a copy of this user A along with the copy of this address. So what you want is like there is a copy of user A and all this property like name, roll number, address will get copied here. And whenever you change anything into the user A, it should not get reflected into the copy of user A. Suppose you want to change something like flat 91 to flat 92, it should not get reflected into the copy of user A because you want to create two independent copy of this user object. Now, so if you are going with the shallow copy concept, what will happen? This address object will not get copied or in the other words, we can say that this address object copy will not get created and instead of what will happen in the copy of user A, this address will point to the same address of the user A or the original user A. So here you can see this copy of user A property address is also pointing to the same object into the heap. Now any change made in the address object of user A will get reflected into the copy of user A or any change into the copy of user A address object will get reflected into the user A. So this is certainly we don't want when you want to create a copy, right? So how we can overcome to this problem? So to overcome this problem, what we have to do is to go with a deep copy concept. So in this deep copy concept, what you can see here that along with this name and roll number creation we have created a copy of address a also and there will be two different objects for this address in the heap memory now any change into this address will not get reflect into this copy of address or the copy of user a so these two copies can work independently into your program and will not interfere with any other object so let's see how we can create this concept using the Java code. So for the sake of the time, I have already written those Java codes into the Eclipse. So let me explain those class files. So there is a user A here where it has three properties. One is name, the other is roll number and the third one is the address. Now here you can see I have created a constructor to create the object of this user. Also. I have overridden the to string method. So this is for the printing purpose. Now here the most important uh, method for this video is the clone. Now here you can see this user implements a clonable interface. So here if you go and see this is just a marker interface. There is no method defined into this clonable interface. And whenever we are writing this clonable or, or whenever we are implementing this clonable interface. We have to override this clone method of the object class. So this is not belonging to this clonable interface. You have seen that, right? There is no method defined into this clonable interface. So this is marker interface. And whenever you try to clone, we have to override the clone method of this object class. and how we can do that? So whenever you are writing this clone method, you have to call this super.clone. 
So this will go and make a copy of these two primitive data types. Here you can see, right? These two primitive data types will get copied here. And again, if you are going with this address clone, it will make a copy of this address. So this was the important thing for us. If you don't do this part, you will fall into the shallow copy part. So to overcome the shallow copy, we have to go with this concept, this user dot address. So here what you can see, we are creating a new copy of this address object by calling the address dot clone also. So here in the user class also we have cloned in so here in the user class also we have overwritten this clone method and here also you can see in the address class we have overwritten this clone method so if you don't do this part you will fall into the shallow copy i will show by running this code like how this code is behaving in the shallow copy and the deep copy part you can see here in this address we have something called a string and country now there is a driver code which will be used to show the demo now let's see here what i have done is created an object of user so this is the user a you can assume and i have passed this primitive uh, initialization parameters for that constructor now now in this line you can see that i have created a clone of this object by calling that dot clone method right so when you when you go to this part you will see it is going here and then creating a clone of this user so by this you will just clone this two these two parameters right and after that if you want to clone this address you have to explicitly clone this address uh, method also and this will go and clone these two parameters for you so you see this hierarchy right when you're cloning from object one it is cloning first the two primitive data type which is roll number and the name and after that to copy this address you have to clone the address also so here you can see i have went and uh, cloned the copy of address also so now let's run this code and see what will happen so here you can see i have object one and then i have cloned the object one to the object two and then i am trying to printing so before editing or before changing anything into the object one i have printed these values of object one and object two and after changing also i have printed this object so here you can see after cloning i have changed the city of object one to delhi which is previously bangalore right now let's see it is getting changed into the object two or not let's run this code and see what will happen see the output what we are getting here is before changing the city both the objects have the same values object 1 and object 2 city value is bangalore only now after changing the city from bangalore to delhi this object 1 city got changed here it's changed from bangalore to delhi but this object 2 city is not changed it is still bangalore right now let's see this is the deep copy. Uh, so this is the benefit of the deep copy. Any change in the object one or object two will not get reflected into the other objects. Now let's see if you don't go with this clone cop concept, what will happen? Now, suppose this address part, right? Here is this uh, address, address part. And now I don't want to, or I will not create this clonable interface. So what will happen in that case? Now this is gone. So from user there is no clone here, right? So you just remove this and then run this code. See here, right? If I am changing the object one parameter or object one address from Bangalore to Delhi, it is also getting reflected into the object two. I have not changed the object to uh, address, but still it is getting changed, right? So this is the problem with your shallow copy. Changing the field in one object will get reflected into the other object because both the object is pointing to the same reference in the heap. So this is the concept of shallow copy versus deep copy. Hope you like this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. 
Till then, have a great day and goodbye.